morning. Great. All right, so welcome to strength and conditioning. So um, again, there is an ongoing call right now. It's kind of giving me an idea of how you guys are feeling. And yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. So I think the poll disappeared actually. Um, yeah, I may have. Okay, I'm not sure what happened. So, oh no, it's still there. So yeah, so if you guys could participate on the poll, that'd be great. Um, but let's start with the warm up. So let's go ahead and just our typical warm up. We'll get it going. And yeah, hopefully it's a good warm up, uh, good workout. All right, great, Ella. I appreciate you checking in. All right, so let's go ahead and start with some neck rolls. And then also, if you guys could um, let me know in the chat, is anyone, does anyone have resistance bands, the one you could attach at the door? Or does everyone just have dumbbells and lightweights? I'm just curious if they could and that we have at home. Let's right, switch directions. And remember, we have about two and a half more weeks of the spring term. And then we have about five days off, and then we start the summer term on June 2nd. So it is Tuesday, which means you know, it's our maintenance day, so it might get a little loud here for a few moments. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we're gonna look left to right. Uh, right. Uh, Yeah, I think I tweaked my, my back, my shoulder, my neck area again this morning, but I think I know how to treat it a little bit better this time. I have a better pillow. Um, I bought myself a massager, so I started using that already. It has helped. So you might see me using it in between our little breaks today. So someone I got at Costco. All right, now up and down. Drop that chin. Raise that head back and forth. And remember, strength and conditioning is a full body workout today. So we'll be lifting from our shoulders all the way down to our feet. And even doing some work on our arches. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do some arm circles. And again, after the warm up, if you haven't participated on the poll, um, please do so. I just want some feedback and so we could dedicate the work on a little bit more to how you're feeling. All right, reverse. All right, let's bring one arm up and press down on that elbow. We're going to stretch out that tricep. Okay, we have six of you that participated. Great. The more the merrier. All right, and let's switch to our left arm up. Press down on that elbow. I don't like walking around unless you get some blood flow going. So, all right, let's do some close arm windmills. Okay, so just bringing that arm real close. Let's do about six, seven circles in each direction. Okay, let's reverse. All right, let's go ahead and continue here. And my glute 
glutes are a little bit sore from yesterday's workout. I think all those bridges we did. All right, reverse. Right. So let's say most of us are doing like a seven or an eight today. Not super tired, but not perfect either. Okay, so that's okay. All right, so hands up, trunk rotation, so start lightly. Remember, keep your hips facing forward. Let's turn. All right, very good. Let's continue. All right, very good. Okay, we're gonna start with just some leans, okay? So we're just gonna meet to the left, okay, to the right, open up our obliques a little bit. This is actually gonna be one of our ab movements, probably in our first set, but it'll be with weights. Okay, so I'm leaning with my trunk, my torso, not so much with my head. All right, let's do some ab circles now. So cut left. And across, pump back, and continue. Let's do about eight of these on each direction. And remember, we do a little bit more when we're going to be a little bit more active in that area. So, since we're doing a whole body workout, I want to make sure that we spend a little bit more time in certain areas of our body. Going to do just lower body. So our upper body can have a light warm up, but we really want to warm up those muscles, that area that are going to be active for the next hour or so. About two more on each side. All right, very good. Okay, that's my favorite one. Some big hula hoops. I'm doing 15 strikes on each side right now. I'm a little bit tight. So, switch directions. About 15, 12 to 15 circles each direction. All right, very good. Okay, we're gonna do some hip openers. So driving that right knee up, and then up to the side, and then we're just gonna alternate, okay? So keeping your hips forward, drive knee up, and then up to the side, and back down. Okay, so let's do six on each side. Working on your balance a little bit. And do one more on each leg. Okay, let's get the left leg in a little bit. Let's start with some jumping jacks. If jumping jacks are too much, we're just gonna do some bunny hops, okay? Ready, 30 jumping jacks. Okay, go. Six, seven. And 30. All right. And let's just switch it to some alternating toe touches and just 
right hand, lift the legs across the midline. Okay, try and reach. Open up the back a little bit, stretch out the hamstrings. All right, so let's go ahead and head towards the wall. We're going to do some leg swings. So I'm just going to move you parallel to the wall. Make sure you have some nice balance and let's start swinging. So let's do about 15 swings per leg. All right, I'm gonna switch. All right, I'm gonna face the door and swing across, okay? Ready? Begin again, 15. Very good. All right, once you're done, switch legs. All right, very good. Okay. Now we're just going to do the quad stretch. So you could grab a hold of the table, you know, something to support yourself. Again, the point of the stretch is to stretch out the quad. Not worry too much about working on our balance for now. So you could go ahead and hold on to the table. If you want to, if you want to work on your balance, then just hover right over that object so you could catch yourself in case you feel like you're falling. Switch. Rise up the ankle, hold. Good. Okay, now I'm going to do some hamstring swings. So, and take a little steps. Reach out with that front leg and sweep down with your arms. And then again, stretch out and then sweep. I'm going to do about six on each leg. A little bit more dynamic stretching here. And then we'll do some static stretching. Last one on each leg. Very good. All right, great. All right, we've got the hamstring stretch. So slight bend at the knees, slight bend, and then let's just bring our hands down our shins. Keep on reaching. Let's make a reach. Right, reach a little bit more. Right, bring those knees back. Right, 
and very slowly come back up. Okay, and our last one for our warm up is going to be the deep squat stretch. So let's just drop our hips down below our knees. And we're just going to stay upright in this position. Try to separate your knees with your elbows. All right, let's get off our heels onto our toes. Drop those heels and slowly, slowly come back. All right, great. So as far as equipment for today, do you have your dumbbells? Any, ooh, got up too fast. Um, if you have your dumbbells, any heavier equipment, like I said, uh, a water jug, um, you know, something a little bit heavier, resistance bands, your yoga mat, we want to go ahead and grab those. And then also if you have a rag, we could do our sliding lunges, go ahead and collect those. So I'll give you guys about a minute, and then I'll share the results. So. Right now, what um what number of weights like five pounds, three pounds, ten pounds? What are we? Um, gonna... I would say grab whatever you have. What's the heaviest that you have? Fifteen, but that might be a little bit too heavy. Somewhere between five to ten range would be good. Um, the fifteens maybe. So, excuse me, um, you cut out when you said something about the 15. Oh, for the 15s, if you have, um, we could probably use those for like back exercises. So, okay, thank you. Yep. All right, so there's the results. So, we're looking like most of those are feeling like the seven to an eight. So, William again for like three to four full sets. And yeah, we'll just go from there. So, very cool. Let me just check the chat. Make sure you guys have water as well. All right, so we're going to start with the shoulder complex, which is, you know, pretty light, nice warm up. Okay. All right, Terry, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do a lot of my upper body work with my resistance bands, so chest and um, back movements. I do a lot with the resistance bands, but if it's only one of us that has them, um, the rest of the class doesn't have them, I thought maybe more people might have them. Um, you know, we might take too much time to explain. Uh, but yeah, if you have them, um, of course, at a different time, I can show you after the class is over. But um, what we're going to be doing is, like I said, we're going to go shoulders, we're going to go chest, back, arms, abs, hip flexors, um, either quads, hamstrings, and calves or arches. Okay, so we're working with about eight different muscle groups today. One full set usually takes anywhere about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more. So we're going to go with that. So if you guys could grab your dumbbells, I would say maybe grab anywhere between three to six pounds, depending on how you're feeling. So go ahead and grab those. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab a 10. Got my 10 pound dumbbell here. So what we're going to be doing, it's called a shoulder complex. Okay. So this one, um, it's actually a variation of those. So, okay, the first one we're going to go with the easy shoulder complex, and then the second step we'll go with the more advanced. Okay. All right, so the first step, we're just going to do this movement for, we're going to do each movement for 20 seconds. Okay, so we're going to go up and down 20 seconds. Okay, once we do that for 20 seconds, we're going to do figure eights. 
for 20 seconds. And then after that, we're gonna go and do these reverse flies, okay? And after that one, we're just gonna do shoulder press, okay? Anywhere between 10 to 15 seconds, actually, okay? So, ready? So, you guys can just follow along. So, this is called the shoulder, shoulder complex, four different movements. Ready? Again, so up and down. Okay, now to the sides. And now bend over slightly, elbows back. All right, and then shoulder press, Just pressing up. All right, very good. All right, that's the shoulder complex. That's one, um, I learned that movement from one of our fly ball coaches at the school. You know, volleyball players use their shoulders a lot. He uses this movement, shoulder complex technique, almost every day with his athletes. So this is, you know, you get mobility in all directions. So that's kind of why I like it. Okay, so now we're going to do chest contractions. Okay, so now this is where we press our palms against each other, squeeze for about three seconds and relax, then press and squeeze. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these and try to hold for about 10 seconds, okay? And when you see my arms relax, that means it's relaxed. All right, ready? Okay, go. One, two, three, you should feel that firmness in the middle of your pecs. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. All right, relax, shake it out, come up, okay. The next ones we have, we're going to do bent over rows, okay? So we kind of did them, uh, well, actually we did it. So grab those dumbbells. If you have something a little bit heavier, you could go ahead and grab those. We are using our back. So our back, you know, it's a big muscle group. So, you know, more muscles are being activated. So it's going to be a little bit easier to lift that lighter weight. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is just kind of sit back a little bit, then at the hip, and then I'm going to bring my elbows back, okay? So my elbows don't go in, they go out, okay? So I'm doing this movement here. Ready? We're gonna do 12 of those. Okay, ready? And try to hold for about a second up top. All right, three, two, one. So up, down, up, down, up, down. Four more. Last one. Very good. All right. Okay, now we're gonna do arms. So we're gonna start with hammer curls. So again, gripping it like if you had a hammer, and then we're just gonna alternate one at a time. Okay. So let's ready. Hammer curls. So we're doing 10 on each arm. Ready? Again, so make sure you go all the way up, all the way down. Try not to rotate your shoulders. So just extend and flex at the elbow joint, okay? We're not trying to move our shoulders like this. We're just lifting at the elbow. All right, go ahead. 
Just put those down, grab some water. Okay. All right, so now with those same weights, we're just going to do some standing oblique crunches. So for this one, we're just going to lean up to the side and just alternate. Make sure you get a full stretch on both sides. So again, try to lean with your torso, not so much about moving your neck. Okay. So let's do 10 on each side. Good. All right. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go with the standing Jane Fonda. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use, you could use the side of the table. I'm just going to use the, the shelf here. And again, I'm not worried about keeping my balance. That's why I'm here. Otherwise, you know, we could be leaning if we're just leaning on one leg. So standing, holding on to that shelf, the chair, the table, or a wall. We're just lifting our leg off to the side, controlling it back down. If you want to put a band around your ankles, you could. Make it a little bit more challenging. But again, my toes are pointing towards the screen. And as you're elevating, they continue to point towards the screen, okay? They don't point towards that wall over there to my right. So let's do 12 of these. And try to stay upright, okay? Don't try to, try to avoid leaning over to the side. All right, that's 12, right there. Okay, so now working on our adductors to our hip joints, working on our lateral glutes. Okay, so now we're gonna do some close stands on squats, okay? So again, heel to heel, almost like the um, Rombert stands. And then we're just gonna sit back. We did these yesterday, so if you're class yesterday, should look familiar. You know, we wanna Sit back. So again, feet are right next to each other. And I'm trying to sit down as well as I can. Just working on our quads. Should go right above your knees, burning. And try to stay upright too. You don't want to be leaning. You don't want to do this here. Okay. Let's do three more. All right, good. All right, and then just to get the calf muscles going, we're gonna do the three variations of our toll box, okay? So straight, in, out, and then heel box, okay? So let's spend about 20 seconds on each one. Ready, begin, so toes are pointing straight. Straight. Just gonna be walking around. So it's right in front, facing forward. Okay, now let's point them in. Very good, okay, let's point them out. And the last time we're just going to do heel walks. Okay, so toes up, walking on our heels.
Very good. Awesome. Okay. Great. All right. So just to finish off this set, the first set, we are going to do bunny hops. Okay. Or actually, we're going to do um, heels to glutes. Okay. So we're just going to do a cardio movement. Just finished the set. Get our heart rate up a little bit. Okay. So just bring my left heel to my right glute, my right heel to my left glute. Fairly easy. All right now, we're going to fill some arm movement in here to get some blood flow to our shoulder and our arms. So, get this motion down. I like tucking in my arms, and once I'm ready, I start to extend them in and out. Five, four, three. Two, one, and time. All right, one minute rest. Grab yourself some waters or water. And we'll start with set number two now. All right, 20 more seconds. Let's take a check. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, so the next shoulder complex that we're doing, it is a little bit more challenging. Okay, so this one, we're going up and down. Then we're going to be in figure eight. Then we're doing steering wheels. So you can grab both ends of the dumbbell and then we're doing shoulder press with one dumbbell, um, both arms, okay? So two of those movements are the same, but two of them are different. Okay, so then we grab a 10 pound dumbbell. And again, we're gonna spend about 15 seconds on each movement. Okay, this is all for shoulder um, health. You guys ready? Three, two, one, here goes. So again, I'm holding one dumbbell here. Right, fingers eight. All right, string wheels. All right, shoulder press. Okay, good. Woo! That one does burn the shoulders. Okay, let's go ahead and put your yoga mat down. We're gonna do some flies on the floor for our chest. Okay. Got some photos. Take it out real quick. So. And again, if you're having a hard time getting down on the floor, you can go ahead and do the this is this one. You could go ahead and do the the contractions that we just did. Okay. Okay, this is one. Uh, where about where? Okay, so for the flies here, you'll see me. We are gonna be we're gonna be doing flies, okay? So again, push-ups is more of a press, so flies is more like a hug. Okay, so if I'm coming for a hug, that's what we're doing. So this is a press. We're not doing this right now, we're gonna do a fly. Okay, so 
So again, depending on the weight that you have, if it's heavy, and maybe just try to do six to eight, but if it's a little bit on the lighter side, then we could go 12 to 15. Ready? Three, two, one, there you go. Very good. All right. Woo! Okay, and from here, I'm going to be laying down. If you guys can see what I'm doing, you can rest your elbow on the mat, and then you're just going to drop the weight slowly and bring it back up. Okay, this is working on your tricep. Okay, if you're able to do that, go ahead and do that. If that's too painful, then you could elevate your elbow and you could extend. Here, okay? So either one. Ready? Three, two, one, be damn still. I'm gonna drop slowly and back. So again, my arm is making contact with the floor, and I'm just extending out my elbow and bringing it back. Alright, I'm gonna switch after 12. To the side and again bring that way down and back up. Just extending at the tricep. Very good. Awesome. Okay, for our back now, we're just going to make it easy. We're going to stay here on the floor and we're going to do Superman's, but with our lats down, so we're bringing our hands back and forth, okay? Woo Ready? Three, two, one. All right, chest and legs up. Once you're there, let's bring those arms back and forward. Okay, we're going to do this for 40 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Woo! All right, very good. Okay, since you're down here, we're going to work on some abs. Okay, so let's get back on the floor. The abs. And for this one, we're going to do bicycle crunches, okay? So again, our legs are going to do this. If that's all we could do, we keep our our Torso upright is great, but if you're feeling good, let's bring that elbow to that opposite knee, okay? Ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, okay, go. You need to take a little rest, take it. 10 seconds in. Ten more seconds. Five, four, 
three, two, one, time. All right. Very good. Okay. All right, so we did the standing Jane Fondas. Now we're gonna be doing the laying down Jane Fondas, okay? So we're on our side here, and we're gonna lift our legs up to the side, okay? So elevating our weight about our, our balance right now. Ready? Three, two, one, okay, go. So again, up and down. Make sure you don't make contact with your feet. Okay, let's go about 15 more seconds. One time. Okay, let's switch it. Ready? Three, two, one, okay, go. 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Okay. Hip flexors, okay? Now we are gonna go and we're gonna do some wall sits. Okay, let's remember wall sits. Go ahead and do these. So find a wall nearby. Wall sit. We're gonna come back and then we are gonna sit back. Just hang out here, okay, for a moment. Okay, let me move my, I moved it from the furthest point from my router and it started disconnecting again. Okay, you guys ready? We're gonna go for 30 seconds, okay? If you feel like you're gonna fall down, just push yourself off the wall and get up real fast. Ready? Three, two, one, okay, go. Very good. Maintain position. 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, and from this position, I know those legs are probably burning a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put one hand on the wall, stay on one leg, so this leg is elevated, and then we're just gonna do some kilo drops, okay? Or some calf raises. All right, so let's do these for the next 25 seconds. Just lift those heels off the ground, stretching out that calf, and we're doing one calf at a time. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and switch. Okay, bring the opposite leg, and again, 25 seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, very good. Okay, and then from that position where you are now, what I want you to do with your toes, I want you to claw, if you have shoes on, still try to claw your toes in into the ground. And if you're barefoot, then, you know, just kind of bring those toes in and release back and forth, okay? So let's do 12 repetitions of those. 
So again, just within your feet, just climb and relaxing. Claw, relax. Claw, relax. We're doing 12 of these. And I'm done. Okay. You're going to finish up this set with some jumping jacks. All right. Actually, we're going to do a high knee progression. Yeah, we're going to do that in this set. Okay. Okay, ready? High knee progression. So walking, then skipping, then running. Ready? Three, two, one, two, go. So just up to three minutes. We're going to spend 15 seconds on each one. All right, skip. Right, and then now it's going to be run for 15 seconds. Three, two, one, okay, go. And at a time. Awesome, grab some water, use the restroom if you need to. I'm going to. All right, let's do that. So, bathroom break. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Okay, we're going into set number three. So set number three, which is range of four sets. Set number three, we will be doing a little bit more challenging. Okay, so that tends to be one of the harder ones, more demanding ones. For this one, we are going to go with shoulder thrust, with push ups, with bicep curls, with um, scissor kicks. So it's pretty much we're using doing like the apex movements for each muscle group, okay? So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. For shoulder press, I do like to be sitting down. So it doesn't depend so much on my form standing. Then we're going to do 8 to 12 shoulder presses, okay? So again, try to stay upright. Try not to depend too much on the backrest. And again, I don't want your arms completely back here, but slightly forward and pressing up, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, okay, go. So inhale on your way up, exhale on your way down. More. Very good. Okay. 
Once you're ready, you're going to go down into push ups. Okay. okay. So we're going to get down to push ups. Okay, we're going to do push ups for time because some of them might be a little bit faster or slower than others. So we're going to do push ups for time. Okay, so push ups are 30 seconds. Three, two, one, okay, go. Bring down on the way down and stay on the way up. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Woo. Okay. Stand up. You said this is. You have to set. All right, now we're gonna do hammer. I mean, uh, regular on curls. Okay. So now we're just gonna bring the curls or the dumbbells straight up and straight back down. Ready? All right, fellas. Aim for ten to fifteen of these. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, you go. Fifteen. All right. Very good. All right. Now we are going to do back rows. I don't want to on the floor. So for the back rows, we are going to use the chair. And this is a quick set too. You notice we've been moving pretty actively. So again, down here, and just bring that elbow back and back down. Okay. So again, ten to fifteen of these. Ready. Three, two, one, okay, go. I'm going to switch with 15. This Ready? Double down and back up. Okay. Very good. Awesome. Okay. All right. Hey, Rafani. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to do alternating scissor kicks. So remember this one, our legs are going to go like this. And after three seconds, we're going to switch up to doing this motion. Okay. If that's too much, just stay in one position. Ready? Three, two, one. Four, 
good. All right. Okay. From here, we're going to work on our now we're going to work on our clamshells, okay? The clamshells are going to be off to the side, knee over knee, hip over hip, foot on foot. I'm just resting here on my side, and I'm going to separate my knees, hold up. You see how my feet are still together? And then come back down. And open, hold, and close. Okay, I'm going to do this for about 12 different times. So follow along. Alright, we're going to switch, get tired, so, oh, can I see me? So, again, ground shells, on our side, separating those knees, keeping that hip lower in your hip. No, that sounds funny, but it's true. So also remaining down here in the bridges, okay? Ready? So again, bridges, bringing the hip off the ground, same straight. If you want, you can have a weight right above your hips and lift that as you're resting that. Okay, 15 with a hold of two seconds, okay? Ready? Okay, go. One, two, down, up. Continue. We're doing 15 of these. Make sure you're contracting your glutes. Let's see three more. Okay, very good. All right, next one we're going to do is we're going to do bridge marches. Okay, so from here, we're going to loop up and then we're going to march by bringing our knees up, okay? So relax. We're going to do 10 on each side. Okay, if you get tired, bring your hips back down, recover, and then let's go back up. Ready? Three, two, one. So up and then start marching. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Bring those hips down. Relax. All right, bunny hops. Can you finish this set off with bunny hops? You guys remember bunny hops? All right, 30 seconds of bunny hops. Ready? Three, two, one, K, go. So, like if you had a jump rope, imagine you have a jump rope, you could measure the bunny hops on. Right. 20 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
one time. All right, grab some water. We have one more full set, and then we start going down. Good job. Good job. Thirty seconds. All right. All right, ready for the last step. So for this one, it's gonna be a little bit quicker. Finish through it. Okay, so grab those thumbnails. Okay, so for these, we're just going to do side raises. Okay, we're going to do 12 of these. Ready? So I said we're going to do eight of these and then eight forward. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, forward now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Okay, now this is going to be a quick set, so we're going to get tired on this one. So we're now going to do cross curls. Okay, so bring that dumbbell to your opposite chest. Okay. Ready? Okay, go eight on each side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. All right, awesome. Okay, let's get down the floor. We're gonna do shoulder taps. Position. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna go for time for 30 seconds. Okay, get down. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, go 30 seconds. Right. 15 more seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Woo! All right. Are you good? Are you good? Okay. We got a back one. So for this one, we're going to do bent over rows. Okay. So you're just going to bend over again. And the first one we did with our elbows out. This one, bring your elbows in. Okay. So bring the weight closer to your body. Take 12 of these. Get ready. Bend over and begin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Woo, rise. Make sure you get your 12 in. Okay. All right, we said it's a quick step. All right, next one, we're going to do mountain climbers for 30 seconds. All right, this is the big movement here. Okay, so mountain climbers, plank position, and you bring your knees towards your chest. Okay, get this all take the speed. Ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, okay, go. Ten more seconds. Mm 
five, four, three, two, one, side. Woo! Very good. All right, let me check the chat real quick. Let's catch your breath. All right, Terry. All right. Okay, next round we're gonna do is squat shuffles, left to right, but we're gonna be doing an air squat at the end, okay? So it's gonna be like this. One, two, three, air squat. One, two, three, air squat, okay? We're doing this one for a minute. It's gonna be a long day, but we're gonna do it. All right, ready? Let's squat down. Three, two, one, here you go. Good run. Three more seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Oh, a lot of minutes. Five minutes. Whew. Okay. Last one. We got this. Is this. Oh man. Last one we got is just gonna be twenty jumping jacks. Okay. Get ready. Probably not. Cause I'm not either. We're gonna throw this and we're gonna pull down. Okay. Ready. Three, two. One, 20 jumping jacks. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, I forgot how to count. 18, 19, 20. Good job. High fives, high fives. Good job, ladies. Grab your water. Very good. All right, okay. Pull down. Let me set this back here. Pull down here. All right, I'm gonna take my shoes off for this cool down. Very good. How are you guys feeling? I'm tired. I'm tired. Great workout. Oh, that last set got me. <laughs> Thanks, Elena. All right, so reset, bring your left heel in, right leg back, and let's move forward.
give it a bit. Right there, that goes back. Bust the tire in the shoes. Just have a phone on there, that's just coming. No more support. All right, third form is stretch. So just reset position, bring that right leg over, and bring that back leg to the front. Push away. The switch, the tight, and then left leg over, right leg out, push away. So reset, left heel in, and we're going to reach with our hind arm, okay, so bring that arm over and across, and bring your chest towards your knee, so we feel that stretch throughout the entire body. Okay. Okay. Switch. We're going to go in, left leg out, reach out, and bring your chest to your lower to your knee. Okay, so let's bring both heels in. Both heels in, top to the knees, up to the side. And that range of motion here. All right, let's cross those legs, and I'll lean forward, reach. All right, reset, left heel in, right leg back, lean back, reach out the spine muscle right here. Let's switch. Left leg back, right heel in, and lean back. Very good. Okay, last one is our third form of stretch. So, gaining this position here, um, being reset, bringing the heels in, 
right leg over and left leg, and then bring your chest towards the knee. And switch. And to relax, we're just going to stretch out our back a little bit before we're done. So we're going to have our Hands right below our shoulders, okay? You see my feet, I'm trying to lay them flat, not on my toes, but a little bit flatter. Arch that back, bring your glutes towards your heels, and reach with your arms, and hold here for 30 seconds. Relax your arms, bring forward and right. All right. All right, good job. Good workout. That was awesome. So tomorrow we have mobility and flexibility at noon, 12 o'clock. So hopefully you guys could join me if you're a little bit sore. If you're not, um, just to prevent injuries, tomorrow's a great class. So I hope to see you all there. Um, if we don't have any questions, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, thank you again for joining this class. So I appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. And thank you for putting it on YouTube because it makes it easier oh, to go back and find the course. Yeah. Thank you.